the center square, it's Berkeley Jr. From his big NBC hit show, Elf. From back to life, Tim Fields. From number one NBC, number one president, Brendan Hardikoff. From two posts for comfort, Jim J. Bullock. From TV's dynasty, Emma Chan. From his new talk show, Will Schreiner. Shadow Stevens, what a voice he has. Welcome to the second year of the all-new Hollywood Squares. Hello. How do you pick a square? Earn it by determining if the celebrity is giving a correct answer. Pick a square. Well, my sister has a picture of Alf on her wall, and she told me if he's here that I must pick him and mention her name. So oh, Lisa, hey, you know what? This is for you. Thank Alf. Yeah. 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 Isn't life strange? But I've got a picture of your sister on my wall. <laughs> I'll tell you. Al, well, congratulations on the second year of your show. It's a thank great you, show. Thank you, thank you. You know, it's great to be here with Brandon Tartikoff. Yes. Brandy, as I call him. Can I call you Brandy? Is that all right? Al, yeah, that's just fine. Just don't call me at the office. I keep calling you at the office you're not in. It seems you're doing game shows. <laughs> anyway, I've got some ideas. You know, NBC is number one. I've got some ideas to keep it number one. Just some minor changes, you know? All right, then I'll ask you. Something your... like this, perhaps. Yeah. Here's a show that's not going to be one for long, Bill Cosby, all right? But if you add this little character, I think it'll be adorable. We'll call it Alf and Cosby. Alf. Wonderful idea. Alf. Yeah, we're moving on. Wait a minute. Here's another one you won't like, all right? Golden Girls, all right? I don't think they show enough fur in this show, all right? I think I should do that one. All right, here's another one you won't like either. L.A. Alf. We change it. I handle all the illegal aliens, all right? All right. One more. One, One more. more. Here right. it is. St. Alfware. See if you could find me in this one, huh? No, no, it's not the blonde on the left. Alf, Alf. All right. Just some, just some programming Alf. ideas. Alf, yeah. you remember how this show works? I ask you questions and then you answer them, right? Here's your question. Here's, let's see how much you remember I'm about I'm sorry, the, I lapsed into a coma the there. Cast, the cast of one of NBC's classic hits, yeah. Laugh-In. Remember Laugh-In? Oh, yeah. Which one of these talented ladies was not an original cast member? All right. Goldie Hawn, Eileen Brennan, or Lily Tomlin? I think it was Walter Brennan. No, no. What? Eileen Brennan. Well, Eileen Brennan. Yes. Oh, I don't think she was either. You're saying it was Eileen Brennan who was not an original cast yeah. member. Heidi, yeah. what do you think? I'll agree. No, Lily Tomlin, as X, gets a square. Oh. Uh, she joined the cast two years later in 1970. I'm Very sorry, good, Al. Let's hear it for Al. He's here. Oh, no. Not if, you're, if you're not sure, don't applaud. Carl Cox, pick a square. Uh, and back to the game. Hi, do you have to catch up? Pick a square. Brandon Tartikoff, please. Yes, president of NBC. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I might have gotten a little carried away before, you know, with all those pictures. I apologize. No, it's just fine. But Al. I've got another picture here. Al. Al. Here's an idea for our show. You see this little guy in the right room? Yeah. yeah. I think Brandon should crash into the Tanner's roof in the next season. Al. Huh? What a Al. guy. I mean that. Brandon, ignore him. He's yeah. always trying to help out. Don't pay any attention I'm to him, Brandon. To Here's your question. As a child of television, yes, we all are, I guess, Sorry. your skill as a programmer... <laughs> Welcome back. In case we don't get to complete our last game, at the sound of this horn, we'll finish that question. Each XO on the board will be worth $200 this year. Something else that's new. Carl, over to you. We have a tie. Pick a square. Let's solve that right now. How about Alf? Alf. Hey. Yes. Yeah. Our alien life form. Hey, son. Hi, Alf. Hi. What well-known item is most often associated with the term user-friendly? I'm going to have to say Zsa Zsa Gabor. <laughs> oh. What? Is that an insult, oh. Al? Uh, huh? Oh is that, is that... An insult? No, not at all. Well, then explain me what you said, because I didn't understand. Never mind. Want to pitch some more jewelry while we're talking? <laughs> um, what I would like to say is... I would go Al. with uh, computers. User-friendly. You're saying Com that's so... Computers. Zsa, yeah. Zsa he means this all in the best. No, I, she sold me a necklace. Right. What am I going to say? Well, you're never... She sold me this necklace. It's a he wonderful piece, too. It's wonderful. All I'll right. have it appraised later. He says user-friendly is associated with computers. Carl? 
I disagree. No, he's right. That's how Carl, they are. Carl, baby, now. honey, Circle sweetheart. gets a square. Over to you, Heidi. Pick a square. Kim Fields, please. For all the latest news, weather, and sports, stay tuned for Channel 5 News next. Then tonight at 6.30, it's laughter and fun with Suzanne Summers in She's the Sheriff. Shadow. It's the NBC Nightly News with Gordon Sumway. Good evening. From the cosmos to the sea, it's the NBC Nightly News starring me. Ha! Ah, ha! Ah, yeah! And it, Dateline, Broadway. Elf to star on Broadway in a Cats musical. Only becomes a cooking musical. Bill not 11. Now we go to John Davidson, our special correspondent. John? Uh, yes, all right, thank you, Tell Alf. Tell what they want. Here's, no, no, here's your question. That's another show. <laughs> Television's most popular news programs was the Huntley Brinkley Report, remember? No. Uh, well, it was a big I wasn't show. here then. You were in Melmac. No, I was on Melmac. Yeah, well, yeah. one of the guys, one of, it was a... We had the Buntley Hinkley Report, yes. which you don't want to know about. Huntley <laughs> Brinkley Report. One of them was in New York, the other was in Washington. The question yeah. is... Who was where? Who was where? Yes. All right. I've got a 50-50 chance of screwing this up. Yes. <laughs> uh, I'd say that Huntley was in New York, and Brinkley was uh, in Washington with Huntley's wife. <laughs> Heidi, what do you think? I disagree. He's right. Chad Huntley was in New York, and David Brinkley was in Washington. X gets the square. Let's hear it for Al. <laughs> I'll take Brandon Tartikoff to win. That's the way to play the game. Hi, Brandon. <laughs> we all know the Roman city of Pompeii, yes? It was destroyed by Mount Vesuvius. But what put an end to the Roman city of Hercu Herculaneum? Herculaneum. No cable? <laughs> <laughs> Who <laughs> put an end to the Roman city of Herculaneum? Uh, I believe it was a, uh, a tidal wave. Tidal wave. This is before the wind, Kurt. I disagree. Good. It was also buried by Vesuvius, uh, the volcano, and the period X gets $500. We'll take a break and be right back. Stay with us. Jim, Rick, Ilsa, yes. Renault, and Sam are all characters from one of the most famous movies Hollywood ever turned out. What's the name of the movie? Ilsa and the Seven Dwarfs. <laughs> Thank you. That was very funny. <laughs> Ilsa, Rick, Renault, and Sam. Uh, <laughs> Ilsa, Renault, Reynolds, and Sam. Uh, They're all from some famous movie. Heidi, don't trust me. The Sound of Music. Heidi, what do you think? 
Hmm, I disagree. Casablanca, circle gets the square. Answer. Over to you, Kurt, take a square. I'll take Kim. Please. Yes, president of NBC. Brandon, how are you Still. enjoying it so far? Is it fun sitting up there and, and waiting to be called on? It could be a career ender, John, but... Yes. If you live, Brandon, in Alaska, let's say you live in Alaska, you must always be on guard from attack from the violent Willy Waz. What are the Willy Waz? Uh, that'll be a uh, new cartoon show on NBC this fall. <laughs> ah! 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 Oh, my hearts. My hearts. I knew you'd like it. Yeah. Uh, oh. Actually... give you any idea? Brandon here, just kind of like take your time, glance over this square, perhaps. Are you saying you want to be a newsman for NBC, Alf? Is that what you're saying? Oh, sure. Put words in my mouth. <laughs> we'll talk about that later. Brandon, here's your okay. question. What, are, what is a Willy Waw? Willy Waw actually uh, refers to a uh, disease you get uh, from eating bad meat, uh, sometimes moose, elk, those kinds of things. Heidi? I disagree. What are you, what are you talking ah! you, you sound like me on the old Hollywood Square Circus. It's a strong wind. Strong wind that blows across. Well, you start over your pick a square. I'll take Will Schreiner to block. Alf. Alf, you! Alf, we're so glad you're on the show this week. It's Thank always, you. It's always fun when you're here. I know. You, <laughs> Alf, you've probably seen this well-known phrase on the map. In French, it means bottom of the bag. What is it? Game show hosts. <laughs> Don't encourage him. <laughs> it means bottom of the bag. It's in French, and what is it? What is the phrase? It's, it's the only French expression I know, because I used to go out with a girl by this name. Cul-de-sac. Jerry, what do you think? I disagree. No, he's right. <laughs> ha! That's it! Ha! See that, Jerry? Call the sack. It means bottom of the bag. Michelle, over to you. Pick a. S S ja Ja, please? Yes, that's Ja Ja Gabor. <laughs> ja Ja, are you wearing the lovely earrings which you design yourselves and yes. uh, yourself? And oh, is that a commercial? Of course it is. <laughs> of course it is. She ja sold ja. me one of those necklaces that yes. doubles as and a flea collar. Damn good in it. Yeah. <laughs> it was great stuff. Ja, Ja, here's your question. Here's your question. According to Self Magazine, Self Magazine, what is the maximum amount, the maximum amount of your monthly paycheck that should be spent on shopping for luxuries? The whole amount has to be spent on <laughs> Maximum amount of your monthly paycheck that should be spent on shopping for luxuries. Definitely. What is it, though? <laughs> what is the maximum? What is the maximum amount of what paycheck? What is the maximum amount? Can you hear Don't me up quick there? Drill. Um, Why don't you just fix those earrings? They need to be screwed in. How much money should be spent? Come on. What? What? It's a, it's a drill. I need an answer to this question. It's my job. How, how much money should be spent? What is the maximum amount of your monthly paycheck? In other the, words, what percentage? No percentage. The whole damn amount. <laughs> Michelle, what do you think? I disagree. Ten percent. Only ten percent. Circle gets the square. Over to you, Jerry. Pick a square. Okay. Shadow Stevens. Shadow Stevens, our announcer, the voice, the man. The I like Brandon Tartikoff. Yes, Brandon Tartikoff from NBC. <laughs> Brandon, here's a question for you about soap operas. Subject now, I know well. Many, yes, of course, yeah. you have many good soap operas on NBC, yes? A few, yeah. Yes. Soap uh, operas? Here's the... Wait, soap operas? Alf. You know, John, what? that would be a fine way for me to show off my range as a dramatic actor. Well, Alf, this is yeah. a question for Okay, uh, Brandon, get the cue cards. You ready, Zsa, Zsa? Hit it, Shadow. What? No. It's time to look in on the lives of the neighbors of yours and mine. The miserable people who live in a sadder world. Jaja, baby. Don't hold out any longer, sweetheart. Marry me. Leave your husband. Any of them. <laughs> I, I won't. I've got money. I will. <laughs> What do you think? Will you give me my own soap opera? Keep the night job, Alf. I tried. I tried. 
I'd like to apologize for that little interruption there. I'm sorry. We can't okay. control Alf. You know. He's I trust. Just but here's your question. Uh, what? Alf for the win. Alf for the win. Yeah. Alf? Do you read the Bible, Alf? Are you a very religious uh, person? I've heard of it. Yes. <laughs> They may not have that on Mel Mac. No, they, well, we've got our version of the Bible. Yes. It's in paperback. Right. Yeah. Now, yeah. which one of the Ten Commandments says, Thou shalt not commit adultery? I got a one in ten chance of getting this. This is true. Uh, seven's always been my lucky number. Now, he says seven, Jerry. Let me remind you, this is for the win. What do you think? I'll disagree. No, he's right. Somehow. <laughs> Oh. We circle gets the square. You blocked yourself. Over to you, Michelle. Which way do you want to go? What a good game. I'd like to go with Princess Jaja. Yes, Jaja Gabor. <laughs> Who had the big hit on that song a few years back? Was it the Dixie Cups? Was it the Shirelles? Or was it Little Eva? This is for the win. Oh, my goodness. I don't know anybody of those people. The Dixie Cups, the Shirelles, or Little Eva? <laughs> they were known as I the D Cups for short. It must have been. They were. It's true. I it's think true. it was the Shirelles. Dixie Cups on the marquee. He talks too much. I ja, think... Ja, the earrings are too heavy. <laughs> no diamond could You're ever You're going to trip on your like lobes that. when this is over. Come on. Get a lobe tuck. tuck. To me. I just oh, said yes to I'm you. I'm being nice. Who recorded this? Was it the Dixie Cups, jewelry. the Shirelles, or Little Eva? I say it couldn't be Little Eva because it's my sister and I know her too well. Yes. It, it must have been the Shirelles. The Shirelles. This is for the win. Michelle, what do you think? I disagree. The Dixie Cups. I Circle told gets you. to square. Please. Yes, <laughs> Brandon Tartikoff. Hi, Brandon. <laughs> President of NBC, we're glad you're here with us. It's been a fun week. You know, it's uh, been a pretty good week. I've yes. got, a, I've got. You one, have Alf on I've your network. I've got one don't you? more idea that Alf. might help the network Alf, regain listen. a first. Look, Alf, we are number one right now, but listen, if you think somebody who's only been here for one year, who comes from a planet far out in the galaxy, can do mm -hmm. a better job. Talking about NBC, running NBC, well, be my guest, all right? Uh, guys, say no more. Hit it. There we go. One, two. Need a telephone if I'm going to be a network executive. Excuse me for one second. Hold all my calls, I'll be in the jacuzzi. Yeah, okay. Now, I've got some ideas here that I think will help the show. Would my vice president please enter... I think the first thing, we gotta look at this ailing schedule, okay? Let's take a peek at this. Look at this thing, okay? Monday nights looks pretty good, but I'm, re I'm getting rid of movie of the week. Get rid of that. And in instead, we've got a great new idea, Alf and Mindy, okay? It's Alf and Sandy Duncan back to back. Put it in there, Alf and Mindy, you got it. Let's move over to Friday real fast. There's something in there that's fairly hideous. Campus heat, what is that? No one cares about radiators. Replace that with Bridget Loves Alf. That's a great show starring uh, Sally Struthers. She's going to be coming on to the show with me. Uh, Miami Vice, move that out of there. Get rid of that. Put in Alf P.I. No, no, we're going to move Miami Vice to the Saturday morning schedule. Put that in there, Alf P.I., all right? Now, put that there and move over to J.J. Starbuck. Too many letters in that guy's name. Replace that with St. Alfware. It's a show about dinnerware. Put that in there. There you go. All right. I think it looks pretty good now. All right. I, yeah. I think it looks real good, Alf, and it's not at all self-serving. That's what not I at like all. most about. Come on. Excuse me, I've got a little call. Wait a minute. September 21st, 1970 was a historic day in television and professional football. What happened on that day? I'd say that's the beginning of Monday Night Football. I'm going to disagree with that. No, he's right. The premiere of Monday Night Football, Circle, gets a square. All right.
right, Robert, over to you. Mr. Alf the Block, please. Alf to Block. Alf, you were fabulous in that last segment. Don't lie to me. Let's see. Alf, before he became an actor, Dustin Hoffman says he planned on following his lifelong dream of being a what? Um, I think he'd wanted to be a musician. A musician. This is for the block, Robert. I have to disagree with that again, John. No, he's right. A concert I'm you, pianist. I know the duster. <laughs> Can't put a circle there, you gotta earn it yourself. Vivian, you could, uh, what do you wanna do? Alf to win, please. Yes, Alf, it's a busy day for you. It is, it is. And these colors look so nice behind me. Alf, according to Ann Landers, yeah. is it the greatest gift, it is the greatest gift you can give and it costs you nothing. Mm -hmm. What is it? It's that um, Zsa Zsa Gabor jewelry. Well, Tell us about it, Zsa Zsa. I love you, Alf, I really love you. You can get my necklace for nothing. You hear that? All right. According to Moving Ann on. Landers, yeah. it is the greatest gift you can give, and it costs you nothing. What is it? Friendship. Vivian, this is before the win. I agree. No, but what a good answer, Alf. It's a compliment. X gets the square. Robert, over to you. Pick a square. Mr. Will Shiner, please. It's over to you. Zsa Zsa Gabor with her fabulous jewelry. Hi, Zsa Zsa. Zsa Zsa, according to legend, what mythical being can only be captured by a virgin? My goodness, it's impossible. It'll be Use never... your memory on this one. It will never be captured. <laughs> Alfie, what? I hate you. It's <laughs> a tough one. What mythical being? What mythical being can only be captured by a virgin? Apollo. A what? Apollo. Apollo. Vivian? I disagree. Circle gets the square. A unicorn. Unicorns do that. Circle gets the square. You have the block. Robert, she stopped you there. What do you want to do? We have to stop her with sh Now it's getting good because we have four X's up there and four O's. Vivian, pick a square. Ed Begley Jr. is your only choice. Very well done. <laughs> and Whoever gets this square will win the game. Ed, oh, you max headroom yourself. It comes down to you. I'm ready. According to the bottom line newsletter, will curling up in bed at night with a soft, furry, stuffed animal actually do anything to relieve stress? Yes, but trust me on this, you will hate yourself in the morning. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, yes, I think that would relieve stress. He says, yes, that actually does. Vivian? I agree. Yes, it does. $500. All right, over to you, Vivian. Alf? Alf, the one and only Alf. Hello. Hi. Alf, do you know much about American history? Are you? I've, I've read a little bit. Have you? All right. According yeah. to popular belief, mm -hmm. who or what caused the famous Chicago fire? Uh, Mrs. O'Leary's cow. Vivian, this is for the heck of it. Disagree. You disagree? No, he's right. It was a cow, Mrs. O'Leary's cow. X gets a square. Audience, please be quiet. Don't, don't yell out because... us this week and it is our premier show thank you we'd like to welcome all our viewers at home we're glad you enjoyed our first year welcoming you won the toss 
Pick a square and earn it by determining if the celebrity is giving a correct answer. Well, let's get started. Helene, pick a talented square. Brandon Tartatoff. Yes, president of NBC. Brandon. John. Not many people, I don't think, have seen you on television. They see all your television that you produce on NBC, but it's nice to be here, isn't it? Well, after they see me, they'll realize why that is. <laughs> 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 According to Health News and Notes, what is the number one cause of nightmares? It wouldn't be low Nielsen ratings, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> the ah! Ah! Oh, the guy's hilarious. I love him. He's great. He's great. I love you too, Alf. Um, I'm not I... just saying that either. <laughs> I'm being honest. What network are you on, Alf? Me? Yeah. NBC. That's what I thought. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what is the number one cause of nightmares? Brandon? I would say uh, probably indigestion. Helene? I disagree. Good for you. Stress, particularly memories of childhood unhappy, but stress does it. Circle gets the square. We're off and running. Carl, Carl, pick a square. I think I'll start with Alf. Alf, our center square for today. You know, John. Yes. It's great to be here again. Yes, I'm going to ask you a question, though. It's, yeah. It's nice to have you back. Thanks. First of all, congratulations on your hot series. Last year you did Hollywood Squares, and, and it was a new show, and now you're a star. Who would have known that this show catapulted me into stardom? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, I'll tell you, it must, be, it must be especially thrilling working here with Brandon Tartikoff. You know, I, uh, I have a few thoughts on how to run the network. Well, you know, I was trying to get in, in touch with him over the phone. He never returns my calls. So I thought I'd get him here. I've got him cornered. Uh, got something to show him. What are some of your ideas? Well, well, uh, just, just minor subtle changes, John. Something that you might be interested in. Just a minute. I've got the booth here. I could talk to Bob in the booth. Bobby, roll that tape, would you please? Just take a look at this. All right, go ahead. Some ideas for changing the logo. This is what they've looked like throughout the years. We need to update it. There we go. See? Let's lose the peacock, Al, man. Al, the Al, peacock's Al, been wait. on for 50 years. Al. Lose the peacock. Al, When's the last show you saw that Al. had a peacock in it? Al, here's your question. Sorry. What was the first NB show to be broadcast in color? Uh, it was an early Fred Silverman show. I think it was My Mother the Squid. <laughs> First show on NBC in broadcasting color. What was it, Alf? I'll take a guess. It's got to be uh, The Wonderful World of Color. Carl? I disagree. <laughs> the Wonderful World of Color? Yeah. The Colgate Comedy Hour. X gets the square. I wasn't here then. Helene, over to you. Pick a square. Jim Draper. Jim J. Ed Bagley, Jr. From St. Elsewhere, Ed Bagley, Jr. You're a doctor, right yes. on the show? Yes, I am. Dr. Christian Barnard was the first doctor to ever do something successfully. To do what? To perform a rhinoplasty on the golf course uh, with a seven iron. He did a nose job right near the sand trap. Um, <laughs> no, that's not what he did, of course. Uh, he's very famous for doing the first successful heart transplant. This is I for the block. Carl, what do you think? I disagree. No, he's right. This man is a doctor. The first successful heart, human heart transplant. Can't put a circle there. You'd have to earn that yourself. I'm Helene Marcus. Uh, Maybe Hawaii next week. Over to you, Carl. Pick a square. Oh, I'll try Alf again. Yes, Alf. Our alien life form. Hello. Yeah. Alf, the Pied Piper of Hamlin, became so angry that he lured all the children out of the village. Remember that? No. The, this was a... Oh, you were in Melmac, weren't you? Yeah, it was before my time. Right, Go well, ahead. We have a nursery rhyme about the Pied it. Piper. And uh, the children were never seen again. What made the Pied Piper of Hamlin so angry? Someone starched his tights. <laughs> I think... I think they never paid him for the gig. They never No, he did all that work and they didn't pay him. Carl, he says they never paid him for the gig. I agree. That's it. Yeah. That's <laughs> just a square. Helene, over to you. Princess Zsa Zsa Block. Yes, Princess Zsa Zsa. Oh, she looks so lovely. <laughs> According to fashion Q&A, question and answer, is it appropriate these days to wear white to a wedding if you are not the bride? 
Oh, my God, I never look at anybody else except the groom for the little time it lasts, so I don't know. <laughs> I think yes. I disagree. Good. No, it's not. Circle gets a square. White should be reserved for the bride alone. Carl, over to you, take a square. Tartoff. Brian Brandon Tartikoff, NBC. Brandon, here's your question. True or false, Cambodia has the world's longest alphabet with 74 letters. True or false for the block? You're going to be surprised, but I actually uh, know the answer to this question. It's true because I happen to know that the Wheel of Fortune, when it plays over there, is a two-hour show. <laughs> I doubt oh, they have wheel I don't need a laugh track on this oh, show. I just have one. a center square. Oh, right. oh, oh, and you can count on it, too. Sure. <laughs> sure or false, Cambodia has the world's largest alphabet, 74 letters. What do you think? Answer is true. For the block, what do you think, Helene? He I says agree. true. I agree. That's it. Circle gets a square. You have the block. Yeah! Yeah! Uh, we'll For the latest news of the day, watch Channel 5 News next. Then, prime time moves to 6.30 tonight. Never mind this. Bob Lardner in the booth, please. Bob, roll that logo again, will you? Let's see that again.